Of course, this is right on the heels of today's major news from Pfizer. That company says its coronavirus vaccine candidate is more than 90% effective, according to early data from its phase three trial. ABC Action News reporter Haley Bull is looking into the numbers and the reason health experts say this isn't the time to let your guard down. Kerry Coles thought he had allergies, but soon says he learned he had COVID-19. It's an up and down. It's like a, you know, a roller coaster. About a week in, he says he landed in the hospital with a fever and pneumonia before receiving plasma and heading home. I'm feeling good. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful to have gotten through it. Many Floridians still fighting the virus, including in the Tampa Bay region. There's no question that we're getting an increase, but I think the rate of increase might be accelerating since the beginning of November. You know, I think what we're seeing is the results of a lot of fatigue. This week, Pfizer announced its vaccine candidate was found to be more than 90% effective in preventing COVID-19 with the clinical trial continuing. 90% is a game changer. 90% now you're uh, hoping to have a tool in your war against this pandemic that could be significantly effective. But vigilance with face masks, distancing, avoiding large gatherings and poor ventilation still must continue. We know there's light at the end of the tunnel but that doesn't mean that we're going to give up the important public health measures that we continually still have to do every single day. It's a message Kerry Coles echoes too, while keeping hope for a vaccine that gets us through. Let's wait this out. There will be a vaccine and we'll get through it. In Tampa, Haley Bull, ABC Action News.